And this is take three. <sighs> After having been interrupted twice by the very son I'm about to speak proudly of, Adventures in Parenthood. Uh, so, my youngest son would like everyone to know that he is very interested in both multiplication and division. He is in the first grade and has been asking quite a few questions about it, not just what's this times this or this divided by this, but the hows and the whys. He wants to understand how it works and why it works. Um, division, like many people, he says doesn't make any sense, but he's determined to make sense out of it. Um, we also did a science experiment. Uh, he received a lab coat from a nurse friend of the family, and uh, since then he's determined uh, that he is going to be a scientist and he will be building a dinosaur, either of the biological or cybernetic variety in the future, uh, either of which would make me so incredibly proud. Um, he's, uh, but he, so he donned his lab coat uh, for the experiment, and uh, we he, we determined whether an ice cube would melt faster in air or in water. His hypothesis that it was that it would melt faster in water, which ended up being correct. Uh, and uh, he took a note into his teacher that I wrote up about everything that we talked about, both with math and with science. And uh, he found out that uh, he's not able, allowed to talk to his classmates about his science experiment because they'll be doing something very similar later on in the year. And that basically spoilers for science. Um, so he's, he's, uh, he's ahead of the game. He's a little bit proud of it, uh, a little bit weirded out by it, but, uh, but it's a good deal. It's a good deal. Um, I'm pretty proud of him myself, and uh, I hope that uh, being smart stays a good thing in his mind because we need more of that. Um, uh, gaming, Minecraft. Uh, I've been in and out of Minecraft a bit. I took a break. Uh, been building little things, uh, turning creeper potholes, creeper craters, uh, into uh, little melon farms for newbies uh, or for kids. People that are running around that tend to run out of food. Um, just put a single block of water, surround it with dirt, uh, just uh, a layer of t two layers of dirt, you know, in rings around the single block of water, and uh, you know, or leave the hole in the middle. Two rings of dirt, drop the water in the center, um, hoe the the middle ring, plant melons all the way around, and let it use the outer ring of dirt for the melon uh, melon plants to generate the melons on spawn the melons on top of. Uh, that way, um, anyone coming by can get the melons. And they don't have to replant. There's no, you don't need to carry around a hoe. You don't have to understand how farming works in Minecraft. And uh, I, in order to eliminate confusion, I put up signs that says free food. So turning uh, creeper craters into something useful uh, all throughout uh, the desert area where I have my uh, Skippy's sandstone spires and then beyond where, uh, where the um, Thunderdome, I believe, is still being worked on. And and where uh, my friend Rick's TIE fighter hovers menacingly over over his protective wall and uh, and a few other uh, deserty areas. Um, I haven't gone into the into the more lush uh, spawn original spawn area. I have actually moved the spawn point, and uh, my friend Alex and I have uh, mostly him because he does he does most of the work. I sort of formed it. And just sort of supervised. Um, he created a, a cabin out at the spawn at the new spawn point, so that anyone that spawns out in the new area, which is incredibly far away from the original spawn point, um, isn't left high and dry. So any newbies that start, or anybody that respawns completely far away from anybody else, isn't left completely high and dry. Um, we were sort of hitting saturation in the original spawn area, and uh, I. I, I don't want people to feel like they have to just travel for eons just to find a place to settle down uh, when they start out. Um, and uh, when and if we get enough new people or, or people decide to move on from the current area um, into the new spawn area and uh, we get saturation again, I'll just move the spawn point again. It's uh, also a friend, uh, my friend Peter has decided to uh, take the, the world data and generate a map 
and that has worked out very well. And we find out how, exactly how little of the map we've explored, and it's practically nothing. And just the immensity of the world is mind-boggling. It's craziness and love it. Uh, and uh, I'm very specifically not going to talk about go my adventures into the nether recently. Not going to talk about zombie pigmen getting in the way of my pickaxe when I'm mining, getting hit, and then mobbing me until I dead over and over again as if I was trying to attack one of them. Because I was simply trying to mine netherrack. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Um. Yeah. Um. Minecraft. Yeah. Um. On a more serious note, let's talk about politics. Let's let's open up that can of worms. Actually, let's talk about politics and social. Issues. Yay! Um, I'm an Eagle Scout. I don't often associate myself with that group because of um, their stance on gay people, which are, you know, they're people. That's a rant for another time. But I'm an Eagle Scout. I went through Cub Scouts. I went through Boy Scouts back when there were still time limits on the badges. Each rank, we had a time limit between each one. Uh, they removed that actually shortly after I got Eagle. Um, we had a ninth grade. It's been a while. <laughs> it's been a long time. Uh, my values have strayed and then dovetailed and whatever back and forth throughout life, but there are certain core values. Uh, that I've always, that I picked up when in scouting that have stuck with me for my life. And for that, I'll always be thankful for my time with the scouts. I still pick up, and Nikki, my wife still picks up trails and popcorn for me when, when they're holding the fundraisers, man. Because it's not like it's Girl Scout cookies where it's good all by itself. But I still have a soft spot. But in, in any case... One of those values that I picked up, one of those things that I picked up from Scouts is helping people. Not so much charity. Charity has implications and has connotations that that I'm not talking about here. It's helping people. You, you do what you can to help people, the people that are around you. And I got an argument on Facebook with my sister-in-law about helping people. And it was about which people to help and when and how. No, not so much how. Just really which people to help and when? Which ones do we help first? Uh, assuming we have limited ability to help, who do we help first? And I challenge the assumption that we have limited ability to help. And I've been chewing on that for a while. I've been chewing on that with my British teeth for quite some time. Apologies to any Brits. Uh, I have... Uh, the only resolution I can come up with is this. The only thing that makes any sense to me is this. I made a, 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 I had an idea because I live in Michigan. We drive. We drive everywhere. Our, our infrastructure is built around driving, not walking or public transportation. We drive. So I get my little coffee allowance from my wife. I go to the, the bank. I cash five of it, five dollars of it in for dollar coins or whatever. I put it in my ashtray because I don't smoke and I carry it around. Someone with a sign on the side of the road. If I'm on the right lane, I give them a dollar coin. Pretty simple. Someone comes by my house, needs food, needs whatever, needs, needs help. Give them some coffee and some food and have a chat with them on my front porch. I may not let them in the house because I've got kids that I need to worry about. But if they need to unload verbally and, and get some shit off the chest or have a warm drink or have a couple of granola bars in their pocket. We go to a Sam's Club. I got a case of them in the basement. There's no reason 
be they refugees from Syria, be they veterans that are down on their luck because of uh, the VA, or because of our, our government, you know, sending them overseas, fighting for us, and then, you know, trying to pretend they don't exist when they get back. Whoever they are, if they need help, they should get help. They're people. That's who they are. We're humans. We're people. People should help people. It's not about... No one's after my stuff. I don't have stuff for people to be after. Seriously. People help people. I don't know how that simple tenet, that simple understanding is so hard. And I re and, and I find myself even having I find myself having to remind myself. Because my instinct when I see people on the signs of the road is to get in the other damn lane. I don't I don't wanna I don't wanna look. I'm not looking. I don't see you. You're not there. I'm listening to my music. I got places to go. I don't wanna look at you. And in bigger cities when I'm traveling. And when I'm walking around in bigger cities, that that barrier, I don't have the physical barrier of the car door, but it's there nonetheless. And I'm not as practiced as it as most in those cities. And boy, wow, they're good. I don't know if it's for safety, for personal safety, probably. Probably. I wouldn't blame them. But they're people. I don't know what to do. I counted last time I went out to San Francisco, the people that, how many dollar coins would I need to give one to every person that I saw asking for money? I stopped counting at $40 because that's double my coffee allowance. I don't know what to do. I'm going to do what I can. I'm still going to be a person that helps people. So if you find yourself needing help and you don't know who else to contact, I'll do what I can. I, I may know some people, but there might be somebody like me near you. The worst people can do is say no. Give it an ask, see what happens. And if you have a box of granola bars or some hot coffee or hot cocoa. Or if you live in a place where it's warm, you know, in the Southern hemisphere this time of year, iced tea, lemonade, water. If you have an ear to lend to get some things, so people can get some things off their chest and maybe get a better perspective, what's it gonna hurt? To help out somebody that needs help. Really. Like if you like it. Share if you think other people will. Subscribe if you like my crazy ranting. Hey, I got my hat back. My son found my hat. My son found my hat. Um, yeah. So social whatever crap. I don't know. What's what's the thing? What's the thing? Crazy face.